Ali, welcome to you. So a short time ago, Senator Bernie Sanders throwing his full support behind President Biden, despite their disagreements. How significant is this for the campaign? Yeah, Alex, well, at this point, the Biden team will take any help they can get in easing the nerves of these Democratic lawmakers, and they are fully embracing this endorsement from notably a former political opponent of President Biden's, but also a decades-long friend of the president in the Senate. And Senator Bernie Sanders offers some uh, uh, more about the reasoning behind his decision in this New York Times op-ed. He says, quote, this election offers a stark choice on issue after issue. If Mr. Biden and his supporters focus on on these issues and refuse to be divided and distracted. The president will rally working families to his side in the industrial Midwest swing states and elsewhere and win the November election. And let me say this as emphatically as I can. For the sake of our kids and future generations, he must win. And that, Alex, is the message the president is trying to get out to as many Democratic lawmakers, especially as he can right now, as he really tries to shore up support and reverse the damage done from that June 27th debate performance. We know in the past few days he's been working the phones. We, expect, we know that is happening also today as he tries to talk to different groups, different caucuses in Congress and reassure them that he is able to stay in this race and serve another four years in office. And of course, all of this is coming as we see this shift from the president in tone about how he is talking about his embattled candidacy. He was at a rally in Battleground, Michigan yesterday where we heard him address the press coverage of that poor debate performance, as well as some of the flubs he has made in recent days. He addressed those head on. Uh, listen to some of that, uh, some of his speech from that uh, rally last night. They've been hammering me because I sometimes confuse names. I say that's Charlie instead of Bill. But guess what? Donald Trump has gotten a free pass. But people would rather talk about how I mix up names. I guess they don't remember that Trump called Nikki Haley Nancy Pelosi. As you heard, the president seizing on the opportunity to slam his predecessor. Uh, he also, at one point in that rally, listed the reasons he says that Trump is unfit to serve another term in the presidency. And notably, Alex, he also not only doubled down on his vow to stay in this race, he also offered a preview of what he would do in his first 100 days in office if he does win another term. But of course, all of this coming as so many Democrats are privately weighing whether to publicly call on him to step aside, and they're going to be watching his every move, his every word, very closely over the coming days, Alex. They sure will, but right now, he sure looks like he's in fighting form. Thank you very much, Allie, for that. Hey there, MSNBC fans. I'm Luke Russert, and be sure to join me, Rachel Maddow, Jen Psaki, Lawrence O'Donnell, Steve Kornacki, Joy Reid, and many more, September 7th in Brooklyn, MSNBC Live Democracy 2024. Click on the link for ticket information. We will see you there.